All right, so, um, Some, yeah, Steve. Sometimes I talk like that. <laughs> you talk good, like, that way. Yeah. Yeah. I think he wanted to rhyme. Like, he was really into rhyming. Not me. Um, so I'm going to set the scene for you guys. Um, because it helps to understand the song if you understand, like, the context in which it was written. Um, George W. Bush was president. Um, we thought it couldn't get any worse. Like, we were turning into a belligerent nation. We were having, uh, you know, our biggest problem with Canada was that Brian Adams and Ryan Adams were feuding. <laughs> like, Brian Adams kicked some dude out of his show because the guy asked for Summer of 69 and he <laughs> just couldn't handle it. I mean, the funny thing is, now the two of them are, like, good buddies and they laugh about it, but... Back then, like, Robbie Fox had to intervene and, like, put his thumb on the scale for who should win that battle. Um, and so, um, this was, uh, yeah, this was possibly the, the first song that I wrote that uh, even contemplated politics. It was just awakening naively during the, uh, the George W. Bush administration. The Americans are coming to save us aircraft fire over Ontario. It was a matter of time. School children in Saskatchewan, your assignment for tomorrow. Draw a flag with a 51st star. Last night of freedom for Canada. First night of party in Canada. Let it all You guys may be thinking, Eric, that chorus makes no sense in context of the verse. Like, why let it all hang out and let yourself have a good time? And I'll tell you why, because Marge and I were driving around Evanston, Illinois in my BMW 318Ti, and Marge says, because um, this song came on the radio, it was something by ACDC, for those about to rock, or something like that. And I was being a little bitch, and I, oh shoot, am I not allowed to say that? There's a sign that said no profanity. Um, I was being snotty, and, uh, and I said, oh, that's a horrible song. Party anthems are lame. And she said, well, this does explain a lot. It explains why you never got laid in college, because you can't let yourself hang out and have a good time. Just, like, get into it. Enjoy the party anthem. Like, live life. Sidewinders aimed at the saddle, though. Bare naked ladies on the run. They won't last one week. <laughs> the crowds are chanting, Vive Chrétien! Jean Chrétien was Prime Minister of Canada at the time. <laughs> the crowds are chanting, Vive Chrétien! Regime change can be so much fun. They're gonna do it again and again and again and again and again. Last night of freedom for Canada. First night of party in Canada. Let it all hang out. Have yourself a good time. No apparent reason whatsoever. Let it all hang out. Have yourself a good time. No apparent reason whatsoever. 700 samurai could not protect us, Georgia's will be done. Put down your weapons at the Minnesota border. When it's over, everyone will get a voucher for a shiny new black gun. Fire up your final joint. Pledge allegiance to that killer queen for the very last time. They're sending Brian Adams over to kick Brian Adams' ass. <laughs> that's the way it should be. Last night of freedom for Canada. First night of party. Hang out, have yourself a good time for no apparent reason whatsoever. Let it all hang out, have yourself. 
yourself a good time. No apparent reason. This is where I got back in March because I had to throw in a key change. For the love of God, I'm hardly at the mass to have a key change, right? For no apparent 